Are you getting bored with all of the standard metronome sounds we have here in GarageBand and want to make your own custom click track? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today. And if you're wondering why I'm in my kitchen, it's because my studio is a mess. But that doesn't mean we can't do our daily video. And this was a cool idea that one of my viewers, Monique, asked me about just yesterday. And that was, how do we get a finger snap click sound in GarageBand? There are none in there. None of the instruments, none of the samples, none of the loops. So when we don't have a sound in GarageBand, we use our old friend the sampler to record one. So I'm going to show you how we can record our very own click track using the sampler in GarageBand. Let's go now. So we're in a brand new project here in GarageBand on my iPhone and you can use the same method on the iPad. Now drums are going to be no good to us because we've got no finger snap sound. So when we don't have a sound we need in GarageBand, we use the sampler. Here under keyboard, we're going to tap on sampler. Now if you've not used the sampler before, there'll be a video linked up the top there and at the end of this video that will tell you all about getting started with the sampler. But for now, let's just get started. I'm going to hit the big red start button and then snap my fingers to record this sample and hit the stop button, and there it is. You can barely see it because it's such a short sound, but if we now tap on middle C here, there is our finger snap sound, and we can even change the pitch by tapping on our other key. So that's pretty cool. But if we want to use this as an actual click, click track, now we need to record it in. So all we need to do is hit the record button at the top here and record in just one bar of this sound. Let's do that now. And we're going to hit stop on that one, tap on our track view up here in the top left, and there is our sound. We can play it back. Now you might be saying, Pete, you're out of time. And yes, I am, but we can fix it. Don't worry. We tap on the mixer icon in the top left here. Come down here to, not up, no, come to track settings, sorry. Tap on quantization, tap on straight, and do a quarter note. And now we'll be right on that quarter note beat. So how cool is that? Now, if we want to loop this sound, we tap it, tap it again, tap on the loop button here, and look at this. We've now got a click track that is going to loop all the way through. We can turn off our metronome, and I can be playing along to my own click. So I can hit, uh, hit the record button. Let's just say if I wanted to record a little bit of audio over the top, let's just have some fun here. Bring in my voice recorder, and we'll just hit record. So there's our metronome. Here's our click track. She keeps a moe and shandong in a pretty cabinet. So that's, that's what I hear when I hear that click track. So yes, you can use this as a click track. You can use it to actually play along with as a click sample. And you can see the power of the sampler here for not only applications like this, but for any time you want to integrate a sound that you can record with the microphone. And yes, this is just my headset microphone. You can use your built-in microphone or you can use an actual interface or a microphone. And there's a heap of videos that are linked down in the description that you'll be able to check out all about how to do that. So there you go, your very own custom click track. And because I'm in the kitchen, I might as well grab myself a coffee, yeah? I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.